Droopy face creations. It all started out as a simple way for people to make their players look like themselves. Eventually, it progressed to people making their players look like what they think is cool. This brought out a whole new meaning to my player face creations. The YouTubers started making best face creation videos and people wanted the best face, so naturally, they were copying. That has gotten so bad that there is memes about how everyone makes their player the perfect man. Even I was a victim of this. I don't think I ever post another droopy face game, but I was down bad at one point. But to get to the bottom of it all, we need to go all the way back to the beginning. I'm so close to 3.6k subscribers. My goal is 20k by the end of the year, so help a small YouTuber out. The earliest face creation video to date is a 2k11 player creation video. There isn't much to work with, so I'm just going to say this guy right here is the best until 2k14. And me personally, I use this one all the time. He 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 a cutie for it. Pause, pause. And he really was putting the Will Chamberlain numbers with the face scans, man. Everyone had this just with a darker skin tone. For 2K14, I'm gonna have to go with Stax Montana's drippy face scan that he posted on his YouTube. He didn't even say it was drippy, he just said best face creation. But I'm gonna have to go with this one right here. For 2K15, you already know I gotta go with a classic, man. He's the GOAT. Just the, you know, you could probably arguably say that this is the 5-1 for 2K16 and 17. But I'm going to have to go with 2K15 on this one. For 2K16, I'm going to have to do the little SoundCloud rap, man. I'm going I'm gonna to have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you disagree, you can let it be known down in the comment section. But I have to go with the SoundCloud rap, right? Okay, for 2K17, man, no matter what y'all think about it, these these Taz faces for 2K17 go crazy. They go crazy. So, so the best droopy face scan for 2K17, hands down, had to be the Taz face. I'm sorry. Okay, so now for 2K18, there's probably going to be some little nail biters here. Because I know a lot of y'all probably going to disagree with me, man, which is cool. I'm going to have to do this dude right here. I just, I just remember a lot of people used to wear this face scan. Same thing with 19 and 20. Those ones, the people that, for the 19 and 20, bro, they need, they need help. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my God, okay. So for 2K19, man, we gonna have to put the LeBron Beard 17 with this light skin. Oh my, dude. If, if y'all play 19 or even 20, bro, or 21, or if you still play to this day, to this, to this day, day, bro, they still, they still be rocking this little face game right here, man. Oh, my God. Okay, and this one right here is almost arguably worse than the last one that I had. This one in 20 was crazy with the guards, man. Me, personally, I didn't use this with the guards in 19, but th this was crazy. Like, this was everywhere, bro. Alright, so this next one is basically the same thing. It's 19, man. But in 21, they 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 just used to go crazy with this dude, man. That LeBron beer 17. So I, I don't know, bro. And for NBA 2K22, man, we gotta go with the face scan that I'll be rocking. Well, I don't be rocking it, but I made it and it kinda went crazy on this little channel on mine, so I'm gonna have to go with that one. And if you want another video like this, I did the best jump shot in every single NBA 2K ever, man. Well, not ever, but you have to watch the video to see. Basically, did 2K11 and up. But go ahead, check that video out. If not, see you next time. I'm up out of here.